I saw you on the uh, Comedians in Cars with Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, I love that show. Dude, you were great. Yeah. You were so yeah. funny on that. And he starts talking about stand-up. And, and, and you said, yeah, you're thinking about maybe doing it, getting back into it. 2020. Are we going to see Eddie Murphy do yeah, stand-up? Yeah, that, that's the plan, to get back on the stage and do stand-up again. That's, 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 let's wait to hear what it is before you start. <laughs> but where do you work it out and what do you do? Do you go to clubs? You got to go do it like the old-fashioned way. You got to go to the club and hop up and do it. And, you know, do you like just it. surprise people or do you say, Well, hey, I haven't started yet, but yet, well, surprise, you got to go up and to the comedy clubs and do sets. You got to... You no really got to put the work... There's but, no way around it. You must... That's what's cool with stand-ups. You have to go, no matter how big you get or what you do, when you get... Uh, new act, you got to go back to square one and start all over again. So you're writing stuff down in a notebook? Where did you used to write your stand-up? I never wrote stuff in a notebook. I get stuff from, like, uh, we'll be talking, and I'll say something, and they'll be like, oh, that's funny, I'm going to take it to the stage. I never, like, wrote stuff down in paper. Really? Yeah. So you don't have any of your act When there's the Eddie Murphy Museum, we don't have any words I have written. No, in. no old little thing, no little stuff. <laughs> Nothing no, you no jotted down. Not even the stuff, like, I, even those suits, like the raw and the delirious, the suits I had on the raw and delirious. You got it. I don't have that stuff. You're joking no, me. Because I, I didn't know that. Even. But <laughs> well, who, someone does have it. They well, must, the, right? I don't know what the, happened to the purple one, but the red suit was destroyed one night. Uh, we went to Keenan Ivy Wayne's, the old friend of mine, since I was 16. And uh, if you back then, if you dare him to do anything, he would do it. And uh, one night he, we were up and uh, getting dressed to go somewhere, and he came up in the closet and he saw that suit and he put the red leather suit on. And Keenan's like six forward muscles, so the suit was busting off him. And I said, I dare you to go out with that suit on. And we went to, this is back in the day, so we went to Studio 54 and all these clubs. <laughs> Remember when in Living Color you used to do a character, Keenan did a character called Frenchie? Yes. That started from going to the club one night, and he was Frenchie one night from 10 to 6 in the morning and didn't come out of character. And, <laughs> and he used and, to wear, like, a red leather suit, Frenchie. Yeah, just, it was exactly that. But, and at the end of the night, the suit was destroyed. Oh, my gosh. And, then, and girls would call the house and be like, it's, it's, like he met and was like, hey, is, is Frenchie there? And, and girl, that girl you met is on the phone. He was like, I can't go out with her. I, she, she met me as Frenchie if she wants to go out with me. <laughs> <laughs> Frenchie. Yeah. Uh, is it, was it fun doing the Coming to America sequel? Absolutely, yes. We every, had a blast. Every, we just finished that about two weeks ago. And it was so, I mean, it's back. Yeah, it I was heard, so I, funny. I know some people that were in it. Because uh, I saw all the pictures I saw, I'm like, oh my gosh, Arsenio Hall, I love him. This is going to be so funny. Like, a lot of the original cast most came back. Most of the original back. cast is back. We got most of the original cast. Is, uh, and, uh, Tracy Morgan's Tracy in Morgan it. Tracy Morgan is in and Leslie Jones is Have in Have you worked it. with Tracy before? No, this is the first time I worked with him, and we had it. I love Trace. Yeah, he loves yeah. you so much. He's yeah. the, uh, we have, I so gotta, funny. We were talking about last time he was here, he told me, he's like, Jimmy, Eddie's going to get nominated for Dolomite. Wait till you see what he does. And yeah, absolutely. And I saw it, and I agree with Trace Morgan. Oh, Dude, you were phenomenal nice. you, in Dolomite you. is my name. Thank you. It's on Netflix now. Yeah, if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't streamed it, you go watch it. I promise you will laugh. It's it like, is unbelievable. And it's a sweet story, too. It's on Netflix right now. I had no idea about his story. I knew Rudy Ray Moore a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I think I bought an album or something uh, of his or something like that, and it was, it was too, too dirty for me. <laughs> it, was too di it was too dirty to listen to. <laughs> it really was. He's pretty dirty. He was really an under underground guy from the 70s. And uh, he had this extraordinary story about how, because his, his act was really dirty and really crude and really low brow and really not that brilliant stuff. It was just he believed in himself and he got it done and he paid out his pocket. And I thought how he put his movies together and how he did his records would make a great movie. And it all came out cool. Uh, uh, did you ever think when you were 18 years old auditioning for Siren Live that you'd ever be in contention to win an Oscar? for an acting performance? No, I didn't think about stuff like that no. when I was starting. I was just happy to be on SNL. And, you know. and back then, you know, I'm a comic. Back then, the ceiling for being a comedian was getting a sitcom or getting on The Tonight Show. You, you know, you didn't think about. Like, comedy over the last 30 years turned into this big, giant industry, which, yeah. you know, and you could, be, you, could be, you could be a comic that never had a movie or a TV show and sell out the garden. Now it's like comedy. Really, yeah. yeah, comedy got big over the years. Yeah, I think you, it's because of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we love you, buddy. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Eddie Murphy in Dolomite is my name. Take a look at this. We want this thing to be raw. Tell it like it is on the streets. Yeah, lots of pimps and hoes and cussing. 
and kung fu and karate. Brothers love all that kung fu and karate. Do you know karate? No, but I'm a fast learner. I can learn how to chop me a mother. You know what we should have? A all-girl kung fu army. Um, you know, there, there's, there's plenty of story opportunity, Rudy. Across this nation, inner cities are being plagued by violent crime. I, I, I feel the government hasn't stepped up. That's it. It's Whitey's fault. The mayor's corrupt and there's an exorcism. Got an exorcism? Yeah, you know all that who? Oh, the mother's in hell. Um, I, I don't know how that fits into our urban uh, motif. <laughs> Keegan Michael Key is funny, yeah. man. He sure and exorcism. Is. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.